What is going on my fellow web developers? We are continuing our Discord series, episode three, and in this one, we're going to be working on a event handler. So in the last one, we created a command handler. Now in this one, we're gonna have to kind of redo a couple of those bits, but I'm gonna show you what we need to change to be able to make it smooth and to be able to, to handle all the events Discord offers. Now Discord offers a lot of different events. We're only gonna be covering the two ones we've already done in our event handler, but when it comes to adding more, we're gonna make the process so much more simpler. So guys, let's just, let's just ping our bot, make sure he's still working. He's still working. Okay, let's move into VS Code and get started. So over here we have our simple bot. Now the issue with our current setup is our ready function is all in here, our client, and there's going to be loads, a lot of these um, on methods slash once methods we need to cater for. So it's not going to make much sense to put them all into one file because then you have to scroll for ages up and down, up and down. And, you know, we want to make it easy for us and you guys to build bigger, better Discord bots. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder. We're going to start off with a new folder and we're calling it Events. Now, inside of Events, what we're going to do is we're basically just going to create two files. We're going to start off with one and this is going to be the Ready Event. So you see here we have the Ready Event. We're just going to call it the same name, hit Enter, and then we're going to come in here. Now, there's a couple of things we need to do. I'm going to show you the basic layout we need. So we need a module.export, just like we did for the commands. And then we're going to take a name. The name is going to be ready, which is great. And then we're going to call execute. Just again, like we did for the previous command. So in ping, you can see here we have a data and an execute. For this one, we're just going to have a name and an execute. So a similar thing. We're also going to have for the one for the um, ready event. We're going to have once true because inside of our bot, if you see here, we actually only call client once, whereas we call client interaction on. So we only want uh, ready to run once. So we're going to add this extra parameter so we can always call that. Now in our execute, we're going to need two things. We're going to need client and we're going to need our command. So we're going to have to pass through both those fields, those features, and that's that. But to access a few things from our on ready function, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy all of this. We're gonna cut it, we're gonna delete this, and then what we're gonna do is gonna go into our ready function and paste this all in. And there you go, you can see that's now in there, but this isn't gonna work. We're gonna have a little error. Um, it's, you know, I mean, to be fair, I don't think we'll have anything because yeah, we're no longer calling ready, which means nothing actually runs anymore, but that's fine. We've got this here. So we're saying ghost online, client ID. We've got this. We've got client from there and we've got our commands going to be pushed through. Now, there's, we actually, as you can see, we actually call rest and we also call roots. Now, these aren't currently imported inside of our ready function. So what we need to do is, you know, we can go to our bot because we no longer need these two here. We can copy these, cut them back up and then go in here and paste them in here. We also are gonna to need to require dot env and we're gonna to have to call dot config because we also use process dot env in here. So you can see we're just bringing through our requirements, everything we need, and we're just bringing through the same command we used before. Now we don't actually have to change anything inside of here. It should all just work fine. But we are going to have to now go and set up something to run this inside of our bot.js. Kind of like how we do our commands here. We're going to want to create a, we're going to want to, we basically want to loop through all of the events. So underneath our command files, <clears throat> I am going to call const event files is equal to, and let's just do this. I think that should be good. So we're going to say fs. Uh, let's break this down. It makes it easier to read and then filter and that's good So that's gonna get all our events there. So we're just saying read the sync So we're gonna read this directory We're gonna filter through all the files and basically just get all the ones with .js And then we're gonna store them in this variable. There we go. So that is now set. We then need to go for const file of event files So we've got to loop through all of these now. We're gonna get the event uh, let's just remove that because that's not that's not true. Uh, we need to get const event is equal to require events 
file and that's going to get us the actual file we need so it's going to loop through them it's going to see ready and it's basically just going to get us the ready event now we're going to say if event dot once so if it's a parameter if it has a param or a a value of once we're basically just going to call this we're going to say client dot once and then we're going to say events dot name and then we're going to say we're actually going to do an arrow function and we're going to do dot args so this is going to gaffer all of the arguments we need and then we're going to say event dot execute and then we're going to pass through uh dot dot args and then also commands so args will always gaffer up to what we need and because this is using client it should also get the client for us inside of our arguments and then we're going to call commands which it's got from up here our little const commands here which is also used in the ready process passing it through the um, rest so if we come back here that should now work for the event but we also need to cater for when we're not using it and basically that is it there that is the exact same command so if we need any more events or arguments we will just pass them through here but most of the default ones should come through from when we use client it actually it checks what the default ones need so for example ready it's like it needs the client and that's so forth so it brings it all through so we should be good um and then that is basically it for this one so if we save now and we go back here ghost is online that's a good sign now hopefully we get successfully registered commands locally and there you go successfully registered commands locally so if we go back to our discord let's just see if ping still works and there you go it does work but that's it's still not done yet so what we need let's just close this down we need to actually move interaction create into its own file so let's create a new file call it interaction uh, create.js and then we can basically go into our ready copy this first bit here paste this in and then do this break that down come down there and break that down but instead of using um client we actually just and commands we actually just need interactions like or interaction like this because that's all the um all our method takes it's an interaction you can see here but you can see it also takes an asynchronous function so what we need to do is make sure this is asynchronous when we call it now if we come back here we can copy everything inside of here just cut it straight out go into our interaction create and we're just going to paste it in there save our bot.js we can just remove this whole little bit here now we don't need that and this should be our bot created. So that's done in there. Let's just check if there's any errors, which there is. What is the error? Is command is not a function. So interaction is command is not a function. That means this is coming through as undefined, which means we ha may or may not have a slight issue. So let's figure what that is. Okay, guys, I don't want to tell you how long it took me to find out this bug. It was so simple, and I thought, you know, it could be this, it could be that. Turns out we just forgot to rename this to interaction create, just like that. Hit save, and now that should work. Now, we're going to have another issue here, but I'll show you what happens once we try and run it. Let's go back here. Let's just say ping, and we get an error. So let's go figure out what that error is. You can see it says here, uh, client is not defined in client.commands. And that's because we can actually get client from interaction.client, just like that. So we get the interaction, we say interaction.client.commands.get, and then we get that. Uh, we will basically work. So we just need to set up. So now if we save, what's our next error? So let's see, ghost is online. We should be able to just run ping now. Pong, and there we go. That seemed to have worked correctly, and nothing seemed to have errored. Okay, guys, so that is everything we need to do for today. We now have an event handler. So, any events we now create, if we want to do a message offense, we can check for messages, status update, reaction, anything like that. We can do that inside the events um, page here and create a new event for it to execute, which is absolutely awesome. So, guys, thank you all for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, do not forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and don't forget to leave any comments or feedback you have below also if you want to support the channel even further you can do so by going below this video seeing the little join button clicking it and having a look at the different options you have to become a member of the channel becoming a member of the channel gives you extra perks and other 
cool little feature. So guys, check that out if you want to support the channel further. I really do appreciate it. But for now, thank you all for watching this video and peace out.